I am here with uh, Jürgen Winter Larsen in his um, Knight Rider. Yeah, and obviously I don't do this in my car because I don't have the autopilot hardware. You don't? Yeah, oh, okay. so not yet. Oh, well, no, of course. But um, Jürgen, he's going to demonstrate how the autopilot works. Yeah. Yes, finally. Oh, on, yeah. On the 10th of October 9, 2014. 15. Actually, 2014. Oh, okay, okay. They yeah. told us about this. Oh, yeah. yeah and now, right. one year later, mm -hmm. it finally has arrived in our vehicles. Now we can enjoy this. All right. So, the first thing you see on the big screen over here is that on the settings right now, we can activate the auto steering. The auto steering is combined with the adaptive cruise control, the autopilot. So if you look at the screen here now, okay. you see on the top of the settings of the driver assistance, we can now actually turn the auto steering on. Hmm. It's still in the beta. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there's some warning and stuff here. Yeah. So, do you want to enable auto steer while it's in beta? Yes, we want to risk our life oh, in yeah. the name of science. Of course. Of yes, course. of course. Always. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. indeed. So now that's on. And there is also another cool feature, and that is the auto lane change. So we can actually change how the lane on its own, on its own by just tapping the indicator. Indicator, yes. Yeah. So we will also turn that on, and actually we are good to go. All right. So let's just fire up the car. Yeah. Did you hear anything? No. She strange, but so nice. <laughs> right. Let's roll. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's roll. And of course, we are at McDonald's because that's where I like to hang out. Yeah, I think you have this uh, coupons, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Eat 15 Big Macs and get five for free. Yeah. Let's see now. Okay, let's hit the highway. So, the autopilot consists, as I said, of two things, the auto steering and the cruise control. So what I can do first is to active the cruise control. There we go. Put it now into 95. Yeah, and let me spin. So as you see now, on the left side of uh, our speed, it says now 95. That's what shows us what uh, the adaptive cruise control is now set to. Mm -hmm. And you see now there are two gray lines. So the camera in the middle of the vehicle is actually now filming and it sees the two lines, but they are gray. When everything is gray, it's not active. When it's blue, it's active. You see there is a car in front of us. And now I'm going to enable the auto steering. And to do that, you uh, take the same cruise stick and you tap it twice against you. Okay, that one, yeah. That one, mm -hmm. yes. So I will do that now. So let's see what happens. Oh, there is a blue steering wheel appearing. Okay. And um, now you can just actually just hold your hands on the wheel and just relax in your arms and let your arms just tag along. So you can really relax and just hold them there. Why can you let go of the steering wheel? Actually, um, yeah. Whoa! You can. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a bit creepy. Yeah. Um, but you still have to pay attention to the car and all that. I mean, yeah. Yes. Uh, what I do when I sit here, I of course pay attention to the vehicles in front of me. Uh, I pay attention to the lines in front of me and I also pay attention also on the screen because actually uh, the car is actually moving slightly sometimes between the two lines but it's quite steady I think 
I'm actually quite impressed of the way it actually uh, is steering itself between the white lines. But, of course, the vehicle, it needs to know that you are still awake. Because, actually, if I'm extremely tired, I could fall asleep. But that would be a very bad thing to do. So, I don't know exactly how long, how many minutes, how many seconds, but from now and then, the vehicle will tell you to hold your hands on the steering wheel. If it feels any comfort, uh, any, if it feels uncomfortable by something, if a vehicle is very close, there is a sharp turn or something like that, the vehicle will tell you to place your hand on the wheel. So you need to actually check in from now and then. But you don't have to check in for a very long time. You, the vehicle just have to know that you are still awake and that you are still paying attention. So actually now we have been driving for yeah, maybe two minutes or something and uh, uh, I still don't need to put my hands on the wheel. But after a while it will do it. So um, let's just wait and see. Wow, this is impressive. Yes, quite impressive. And as long as... Okay, first of all, the auto steering is made for the big highways, where the turns are soft. Yeah. You know? If there is a sharp uh, turn, the vehicle will not like that very much. Especially not uh, in high speeds. Maybe it will work if you're driving in 30 or 40, but for now, the vehicle is made for the big highways. So, what is nice is that the sensors are more sensitive now. They are, they, are, they are constantly checking for obstacles around the vehicle. So, when there is a car passing, it actually notices that. You see, there is this gray beam sensor thing. Yeah. Uh, so, so it always knows that there are things ar around it. Right now there is nothing. And uh, the vehicle and the road actually is very nice here. That's why probably it hasn't told me to put my hands on the wheel yet. But actually I'm quite uh, impressed right now because now I think it's been quite a long time since I've touched on the wheel. So. Um, yeah. Whoa, there comes some cars. What's gonna happen now? Whoa, whoa, okay, that's. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. So, now you see. Hold steering wheel, it says. Oh. So, what I have to do is just. I have to hold my hand and just touch the wheel a little bit. Then it, it went away again. Okay. Just for a second. So, you have to check in once in a while. Yeah. To let the car know that I'm still here, I'm still awake, still paying attention, and uh, that I haven't fallen asleep. <coughs> hmm. Yeah, that's cool, because yeah, then you don't have to constantly hold your hands on the wheel. Like, like Mercedes, I've seen a video on YouTube, yeah. someone put, hang a bottle on the steering wheel. Yeah, that's, you know, if you're pretty stupid of course you can <laughs> attach your hand with some um, duct tape mm -hmm. on the steering wheel and then lean backwards and fall asleep yeah. but then you deserve maybe to bang into something so I wouldn't do that I will just do as I'm told I will just have hold my hands on my knees and pay attention to the road, and pay attention t to the road yeah. and be like a cowboy and if you know something bad happens Okay, and see, now that you actually touched the steering wheel, it might have like checked in and then maybe reset the timer. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know that. There is no timer uh, here that counts down uh, of two or three minutes or, or, or something. You never know actually how long you can keep your hands away from the wheel. Hmm. But um, we are now inside a tunnel. Yeah. 
and at the end of the tunnel there is a roundabout. Okay. Do not attempt to use the auto steer autopilot in the roundabout. Unless you want to meet Jesus. Unless you want to meet the Lord. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, actually, um, there are many ways to shut these things off. Okay. There are five, actually. Three that I would say it's okay. Two, not so okay. The three okay methods is actually to push the button on the side of the of the stick. Huh, the cruise control stick. Yes. Alright. Because you don't need to push that to turn the thing on anymore. It's always on, you just have to activate it. So the only only reason why that button is still there is because of course you can't take it away and also to take it away. So now I pushed it and now I have to put my hands back on the wheel because there is a roundabout. So of course the other two methods to turn everything off is of course to use the brakes. And the third one is to push the stick, the crew stick, away from you, forward. So that's the three methods. The two other ones, well, the fourth one is to unbuckle your seat belt. Oh, let's not try that. Let's not try that. <laughs> <laughs> and the fifth one is to go above 150 kilometers per hour because I mean, it doesn't work <laughs> above 150 kilometers per hour. Well, when we are in Norway, so we can't do that. <laughs> so, yeah. So, every time I turn it on, there is this small sound. Do do. Okay. Now it's on. And every time I turn it off, there is another sound. Yeah. Okay. So that's how it works. And of course, it's also nice to have a car in front of you because that will, of course, uh, decide what speed you have. Because the car is still reading the speed limits, but it doesn't care. <laughs> so now we are driving yeah, in 76. It's an 80 zone. I had it into 95 before but uh, even though the car reads of the sign it will not adapt to the speed limits yet but of course we are always every day in the future so maybe tomorrow maybe another day a new software will update how the car and that will happen so now it's 80 if I hold my stick against myself against me for some seconds then it will go to 85 because I put it into oh. five above the speed this limit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. Okay. yeah. Now, the whole steering wheel sign has appeared once again. What happens if we don't touch it? Yes. Well, I can just ignore it, of course. Let's try it. Oh, there was a warning, a small one. Well, pff, that wasn't very big. I don't care. Let's see what happens again. Again. But the car still is quite steady. Oh, now. Now you see, it go bananas and it shuts down. So I will take over and I will speed up again. Because eventually if you didn't do anything, yeah. it will safely pull over and put on the hazard line. Not pull over, it will still be in the line, but uh, it will uh, slowly go, uh, yeah, the, it will, uh, it will reduce the speed mm -hmm. and of course it will uh, finally stop. Yeah. And I heard some rumors that it also will turn on the hazard lights. The hazard lights. Yeah. Okay. So we are now driving towards Oslo and we have a lane to the right and a lane to the left. And I will go right now, I will tap it up and I have to hold the steering wheel just for a second and the car changes lanes and I have to take the sign down again. 
if you just tap it a little bit so it only blinks three times that doesn't do it you have to but you can hold it down change and I let go so it really works hmm. but of course if there is a car in your blind spot yeah. the car will not go over to the other lanes let's try that let's try this uh, so Toyota on yeah the there is a car coming here now oh, uh, uh, yeah I will go to the right no, nothing happens. Oh, yeah. Because it sees another car. When it passes the Toyota? Yes. Every time you have to change a lane, the car asks you to hold a hand on the steering wheel so it just knows that you are there. Let's try it again. Take it down. It says hold steering wheel. I will just touch it and change lane by itself. One at a time. Take it up again. Take it down again. Hold steering wheel. I will hold the steering wheel a little bit for a second, and it changed other lane. Easy, busy, Japanese. Yeah. Oh no, you're a Thai. No, I'm sorry. Uh, Thai Chinese. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, easy, easy Thai Chinese. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Or ancient Chinese secret. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's finally in the Tesla. Yeah. So actually, that's it. And I must say, I feel comfortable. I, well, on the big road, yeah, I feel fine. I can actually relax. I feel that this really works. It's quite nice, actually. Yeah, I would, I would probably use this uh, auto steer when I'm driving through the world's longest road tunnel, Nardo Tunnel. Twenty four point five kilometers of uh, tunnel. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. If the lines are good, yes. Yeah. Um, sometimes there is uh, this bus uh, stop. Okay. And if there is not a line over this bus stop, and uh, and the road suddenly becomes wider then you have to pay attention because maybe other car wants to follow other line on the right and it will go inside mm, yeah. the pocket I've heard about that yeah other people so pay attention okay yeah and uh, don't uh, do not uh, trust the vehicle 100% but you know what I heard about the uh, fleet learning that uh, Several Teslas, they will eventually learn from the experience they get and eventually it will improve. Yes, that's amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, that we can actually learn from each other. Not only from person to person, but also from car to car. You know, this whole steering wheel. Okay. Ah, it's whole steering wheel. So, of course, yeah, I have to check it. Hey, oh, yeah. there you go. Yeah. It says sort of, hey, wake up. Yeah. You know? That's if we don't pay attention there you go and this sound will interfere with other music if you if you have the radio on then of course it will shut down the sound of the radio and you will hear that sound probably on the yeah. phone also yeah. yes hmm. so that's it yeah so uh, yeah. Um, thank you for the demonstration. No problem at all. Awesome. Yes. yes. You didn't do much, do too much driving because the car drove itself. Yeah. <laughs> so all the fun is away now. <laughs> no, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. All right. So um, see you guys later then. Yes. Stay, stay tuned. Yeah. We need to do a race. Eventually. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I will. I will race you in my sleep. Oh, <laughs> you're right. Yeah. <laughs> no, I will crash into a a moose or something. Yeah. Get a sticker. All right. Yes. That's it for now then. Bye bye. Bye bye.